In this tutorial, we will see a PHP script to implement username live check feature using Ajax, jQuery, and MySQL by text to speech.us. This is a common and popular feature in most of the websites available online by text to speech.us. While creating a user account, just after the user enters the username, an Ajax call will request the PHP page at the server side to get the availability status of the username by text to speech.us. The PHP page matches the user input against the database and returns the response text based on the availability by text to speech.us. Now I write some HTML code by text to speech. Dot us. First I create one text box for entering username by text to speech dot us. and span tag for display message on page by text to speech.us now see html page output by text to speech.us i have one table tbl user with parameter user id and username by text to speech.us I have already entered two user data by text to speech.us. First I write Ajax jQuery code for checking live user name and display message on page by text to speech.us. In jQuery code first I write triggers Ajax call on blur event of text box by text to speech.us. Then after I define username variable and store text box value into this variable by text to speech.us. Now I write Ajax request for a PHP page by text to speech.us. First parameter is URL for PHP page by text to speech.us. Second is method, there to method get method in post. Method, I use post method, by text to speech dot, us. Third is form data by text to speech dot us. Fourth is form data type, I use simple text data, type by text to speech.us and last is success mean output of ajax call from php page by text to speech.us now i write code for where to display output of ajax from php by text to speech.us Now I write PHP code for checking username availability by text to speech.us. In PHP code first I make database connection by text to speech.us.
This code means whenever Ajax call this PHP page this code will execute by text to speech.us. First I write SQL query for checking available username in user table by text to speech.us. Execute this query and store result in result variable by text to speech.us. Now we check if their row greater than zero means username already exits in database then it display this result by text to speech.us. And if there is zero row means username not exits in database then it display this result by text to speech.us. Now we see the output by text to speech.us. Now suppose I enter Mike as username then it display username already exits message means this username already exits in database by text to speech.us. Now suppose I enter John as username then it display username available means this username not found in database by text to speech.us. So out code is work by text to speech.us. Thank for watching this video. We will meet in next video by text to speech.us.